it's a huge deal. And, you know, it's uh, $700 million, a lot of money to, to spread around the state. Billions of dollars are being allocated at the state house, including a one time fund that NBC4 state house reporter Natalie Fami first reported on yesterday. She joins us live with the latest. The spending bill was made public last night and this afternoon passed from the House floor and now heads to the Senate, having had no public testimony in the House. Let's get this thing passed. In total, House Bill 2 accounts for nearly $2 billion. $700 million of that money is surplus tax dollars. On Wednesday, House members decided how to spend half of that money. We feel like we, we got it right. I'm sure there are some people that are winners and losers, um, but we still got the Capitol bill to, 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 to work on these things. It is a happy accident um, that is not ever expected um, in any time. The $350 million that the House appropriated is slated to go to a diverse range of more than 300 projects across the state, from $7 million to the Pro Football Hall of Fame to nearly $400,000 for pickleball facilities and millions of dollars to local YMCA projects. There's some small stuff and, and a lot of that had to do with you know, the members specifically what they what they felt were a priority. Representative Jay Edwards says House Republicans alone brought forward over 2600 projects to be considered, but not all members are happy with the way things ended up. The bill passing 75 to 19, only Republicans voted against it. It's certainly not being allocated fairly. The first step to fairness is to actually have discussion and debate. The Senate now works on their 350 million. It was also agreed upon at that time that our 350 wouldn't be touched by them. Their 350 wouldn't be touched by us. But the Senate president says they will not move the bill until late May or June to allow for additional debate. Some House members say the House should not have moved the bill so quickly either. It was very difficult to read and find out exactly what was in the bill. And then also they didn't have public testimony. The $1.6 billion in the bill that were not part of that one-time fund will go to projects at schools, local jails, and infrastructure. Each category is slated to receive hundreds of millions of dollars. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4.